Hey, this is John Tech Lock, and today we're going to take a look at Windows 8.1 Blue. This is the newest version of Windows 8, um, and they call it Windows 8.1, um, and they give it a code name with the word blue. Uh, but Windows has given people like us the opportunity to review it um, and just preview it, pretty much a beta version. Uh, so you can get the update if you already have Windows 8. Um, or what I do, go all the way down and get the ISO file. Cause that way I can, may, I can create a safe, uh, partition with, uh, within like my own hard drive or do it through, um, a virtual workstation or whatever. All right. So get the ISO, you can get the English one or whatever, 64 bit hit download. It's four gigs, 3.8 gigs. And, uh, the product key is written right there. Uh, once you have downloaded it, um, I'm going to go into VMware and just show you what it looks like. I've, I haven't even started this up, so I set it up and everything, but let's see how this works. So I'm going to power it on. And let's see, let's give it, give it a couple, couple minutes to power on and do its thing. It's probably going to ask me to install... And whatnot. So right now we see the beta fish, uh, just indicating that this is a beta version of Windows 8. So let's see how long this takes. All right. So it says let's start, and now we can take a better look. So let's go into the desktop first. And this is where I'm just going to change the resolution just because I don't like there we go alright so this is what it looks like so as you can see there is actually now a start button that if I clicked would take me back here um, so this is not bad uh, that's, a, that's a pretty cool feature let's see what else it can do let's see so I still have my charms great and I believe let's see there we go so we can still do that if I hit the start button I wonder what else I can go down and this takes me into all my apps so this is pretty it's not bad it makes it a little easier for those who don't know about it I can go back up um so I can move apps around I know there's a way for me to customize let's see what it is that I can do I can name a group so I can name this most used apps I'll just name it most used hit enter and then bam so now I have things labeled um, let's see there might be a way for me to I can resize it which is cool I can make it medium or I can make it wide uh, things like that so that's pretty cool I can resize this as well and make it medium or if I really didn't want it to be medium, I can make it large. I can do a lot of things. So this is pretty cool. Um, I can still move things around and do whatever I want with that. So do that. All I got to do is right click here. Go into your properties. And then when you go into navigation, you can hit show my de uh, go to the desktop instead of start when I sign in. And then show my desktop background on start. Always show start on the main display when I press the Windows logo key. Um, if you have multiple displays. Uh, so apply, hit OK. So now this looks just the same as my desktop background. So that's pretty pretty damn neat. So if I hit desktop, it takes me back here. So I actually I actually really like the way that looks. Um, so it looks it looks a lot cleaner, less jarring. Um, think it looks nice so pretty much yeah so we got just some if you go into the properties here it makes it a little easier for you to for you to know where things are um, so some good stuff there's some a lot of good stuff here all right I'm gonna show you a couple more things um, if you right click here and you can go directly into shutdown instead of having to go through um, the charms and going to settings and then power now another really cool thing that uh, Windows 8 allows you to do is uh, search um, and they, they've refined the, the search area and how you would search things. Um, if I typed in like the name of an application 
Um, let's say I wanted to type in maps, or if I was to do it correctly, maps. All right, so not only do I get in the name of an application that I have on on my desktop or in my install on my computer, I get uh, Google Maps, which would be like the most uh, most widely searched and clicked item when you uh, type in maps on the internet and then you would have maps maps.google map quest maps yahoo things like that so this so they've refined the search and that's pretty nice it makes it a little easier and things like that if i typed in a name of a document i can hit doc and then whatever whatever documents i had i can um um go ahead and click and do whatever i want with that now the other really cool thing about this like let's say i go into uh the weather app and then I wanted to also have my desktop running here. I could now change the actual width and length of whatever. Um, I can see more of my desktop and more of that. Unless I wanted to go back to the search, I can put that in here or there. So I can put that in there. And then I have all these things. Um, so that's really neat. I think that's great. And I can just bring things and replace them as I want. Just like that. So so I think that's that's a really cool feature that they've that they've fixed cuz it used to be like just like this and you can't really do much unless you can slide it and that's what people really want. But yep, that's that's some good stuff right there. Um I guess they've optimized it a little bit. Um, multitasking is easier, things of that nature. Start menu buttons back, so a lot of people, a lot of people like that. So, yep, um, right clicking, and then you can just shut down the entire thing, or we could hit run or search, or go into an explorer window, and do things like that. And yep, so that's some good stuff there. Uh, alrighty, so and let's go into settings. And let's go into personalize. Cool. So this is a lot easier too. They got a different, different cool things. All right. Looks pretty good to me. Tiles. Let's take a look. Show administrative tools. Yes. Why not? Change PC settings. Let's see what this allows me to do. PCs and devices, power and sleep. So I guess there's still some some differences here and there. Okay. Alrighty. So yeah, um, go check it out. Um, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's just things that people don't like are now fixed with Windows 8. Um, they still have to go through this menu and access whatever uh, tiles or whatever applications they're using. But if they're smart, they can just go into the C drive and locate the EXE or whatever application they're using and create a shortcut on the desktop. So I don't think that's a big deal. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this preview. Um, not a lot of differences, so um, totally up to you, I guess, if you want to upgrade or whatever. I really wouldn't care. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe and watch my other videos. Comment, like, whatever, share it. Uh, thanks for watching again. See you guys next time.